بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ والصلاة والسلام على نبینا محمد وعلى علی وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد حبت فی اللہ from the beautiful prophetic supplications of our messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a beautiful supplication, supplication which is mentioned in the hadith of Um Salama radiallahu ta'ala anha in which he said never did the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam leave my house without looking towards heaven supplicating this dua and the supplication in this hadith is in Abu Dawood wa Ibn Majah wa Anisa'i and At-Tirmidhi. And so the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam used to say, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika an adhalla o udhalla o azilla o uzalla o adlima o adlama o ajhala o yujhala alayhi. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam used to supplicate this beautiful supplication which means, O oh Allah, I seek refuge in lest I might misguide others or, I'm, or I am misguided by others lest I cause others to make mistakes or I am caused to make a mistake lest I abuse others or be abused, and lest I behave foolishly or meet with the foolishness of others. And this hadith is in Abu Dawood and collected in Ibn Majah wa in Nisa'i and At-Tirmidhi. And Imam al-Albani said it's Sahih. So in this beautiful supplication of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, and we'll post it uh, in the uh, in the box below the video, the, the information box, the supplication so that way you can see it in Arabic and English and hopefully commit it to your arsenal of tools to supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala seeking refuge in Him from the misguidance and from being a source of misguidance. So in this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this supplication, O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you, lest I misguide others, or I am misguided by others. So we see from the beginning of this supplication, the affirmation of Tawheed. <coughs> the affirmation of Tawheedillah, that the believer is seeking refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from from misguidance and misguiding others. And so this seeking refuge, first, this is an action of Tawheed. This is an action of one seeking refuge, seeking the support, seeking the assistance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who's the only one who can truly help you in these affairs. And that makes it a form of ibadah. And this is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves from His servants that they worship Him and him alone. Also, from this beautiful supplication, we see that there is the seeking of guidance. And it is in of two types. There's a seeking of guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which we are always in need of guidance from Allah tabaraka ta'ala. And we should never think that we have reached some status or some level or that we or are saved, as some of the sects say, that I'm saved. Oh, how are you doing, brother? Oh, I'm saved. But the believer never relies on those. They, they don't rely on this, this, uh, uh, you know, this thought of believing. That doesn't mean they don't have hope. And it doesn't mean that they don't fear the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that they don't have hope for His mercy. But they don't know. We depend on the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what's going to enter in, in, enter us into Jannah as the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said. And so this supplication is so important for us because the believer is seeking refuge in Allah from misguidance. 
and we supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every prayer, in every raka, in every raka, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we beg Him seeking His His help and assistance. Ihdina suratul mustaqeem. Guide us to the straight path. So we're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we're pleading and imploring Allah wa ta'ala alone to guide us. So all of us are in need, in need of guidance. And likewise in this dua is another important aspect of seeking refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from misguidance. Not just that we are, we want to be guided and we want to not be misguided, but we want to be a source of khair. We want to be a source of, of guiding others, not misguiding others. And so in the supplication of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the mu'min is imploring his Lord Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, asking that he can be a source of khair and not a source of dharar, uh, uh, not a source of harm and not a source of misguidance. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be a source of guidance, not a source of misguidance. Because how many du'at, how many people who are callers, but as the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, with du'at ala abwaaba jahannam. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said there will be du'at, there will be callers, and they're callers to the hellfire. And those callers to the hellfire, guess what? They believe they were on good. And in fact, they believe they're the Muslihun. They believe that they're the ones rectifying the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's why it's imperative, a habit of Allah, is to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and implore Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, often asking for guidance and favor. We're not guaranteed. It's not sufficient in a name that's saying, oh, I'm a Muslim. Oh, I believe I'm a Mu'min. Oh, I'm Salafi. Oh, I'm this. Oh, I'm that. That's, that's a name. And as we mention an important qa'ida of Ahl al-Ilm that the people of knowledge mention, al-ibra bi haqa'iq, laysa bi musammiyat. That the reality of something is in its substance. It's not in its name. So just a claim is not sufficient. So we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's guidance. You and I need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's guidance. And I can definitely speak for myself, I need my Lord. I need him to help me. I need him to give me the strength to go forward and call to him, Tabarak wa Ta'ala, and protect me from his via, to protect me from the evil of myself, my evil inclinations. So we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's guidance. And another beautiful aspect or Fa'idah or benefit that's mentioned in this supplication of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is there's also the seeking of refuge in Allah and asking for guidance from mistakes. Asking for guidance from mistakes. We're going to make mistakes in every which way, in sin, in mistakes in our our understanding. We 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 have the mistakes, so we're open about our mistakes. But we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's guidance and we seek refuge in Him from making those mistakes. So in this supplication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the believer is asking, lest I cause others to err and I am caused to err. Lest I, this meaning, you're seeking refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asking Him for you to not be a source of causing people to make mistakes nor, and you're also seeking refuge in Him, Tabarak wa Ta'ala, so that seeking refuge from your own mistakes, from making mistakes. And we know from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam, that He, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, has said, Kullu ibn Adam khatta, wa khayna khatayin tawabu. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, all the children of Adam commit sins. They all make sins. You and I, we, we make sins. We're from Benny Adam. We are the children of Adam. Doesn't matter if you're black, white, Chinese, various Asian nations, various African nations, various uh, nations from South America, from the Caribbean. Kulubna Adam. 
all of us are, are from the children of Adam, alayhi salatu wasalam. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam also letting us know that we're all, we're all Bani Adam. And not just that we're Bani Adam, kullu ibn Adam khatta. All the children of Adam, they make mistakes. They all make mistakes. They all sin. And the best of those who sin are those who repent. So in this supplication that we're talking about now, where well, you're seeking refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from your own mistakes, from making mistakes and causing others to make mistakes. Likewise, in this beautiful supplication, it is a guidance. You're seeking guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from abusing people and from being abused. Because this is the nature of man that we abuse one another. Some people have no enjoyment in this life. They're not blessed with any, any enjoyment in this life. And the only enjoyment they get is abusing others, is attacking the honor of others. That's really all they get. They're not happy with anything else. They have to know about everyone else's life and they need to abuse them. And what is shameful and sinful and wicked that this trait is amongst Ahli Iman. That you'll find the jealousy, the hatred, and people search, they prod, they pry, they spy, they search, they make behoof on how to find mistakes with people and how to call people misguided, how to classify people as disbelievers, how to classify people from, as being from Ahl Bid'ah. So this is a shameful trait. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Wala tajasisu, wala tabahudu, wala tadabahu. The Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam said, Do not spy on one another. Do not have hatred for one another and do not cut one another off. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said this. So why is it that we, we are active and cutting one another off and attacking one another's honor. And some of us find joy because we have no happiness. We don't have anything to do in our lives. So either we were busy with soap operas before Islam and in Islam, and in Islam we want a soap opera. We want drama. We want to find the people's mistakes and we thrive on it. And it brings us slobber and saliva from our mouth to indulge in the affairs of others and make others seem as if they're evil because it helps to cover our evil so that the people don't look at our evil or that we have no taqwa or little taqwa and we don't even see our own evil. When the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Kulu ibn Adam khata wa khayna khata ibn tu'abun, all the children of Adam make mistakes. So you have sins. And the best of those is for those who repent. So this dua is so imperative for us O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you, lest I misguide others, or I am misguided by others, lest I cause others to err, or I am caused to err, lest I abuse others or be abused, and lest I behave foolishly or meet with the foolishness of others. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen, wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala Nabiya Muhammad.